that the worst thing about waking up in the morning is when it's really, really cold and windy and you know you have to get up out of your warm sleeping bag. Ugh, it is such a worst feeling. And it's really cold. Because <laughs> we stayed at what, like 5200 feet elevation? So, yeah, it's super, super cold. I mean, it's got to be in the teens. Yeah, it's got to be in the teens. Especially because the wind's blowing. So, but the crazy part is, I don't think it snowed. Because there's no snow on the ground. At least not around my tent. So, that's kind of good, I guess. Um, I do have condensation on my tent. Like, frozen condensation. And one of my water bottles froze. I guess it fell, like, onto the ground. Like, I had one wedged, like, they're under my sleeping bag, but one was, like, kind of on top of my sleeping, my clothes bag. So, it didn't really freeze much, but the other one fell on the ground, and it froze. <laughs> so, um, it's okay. At least I got one bottle that's basically frozen. Um, oh, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's supposed to be a lot warmer today, like, I think think in the 60s but you know that'll take a while to get there and we'll have to get off this mountain probably first before we even think about warming up <laughs> oh. so cold all right well this is this this is the rough part I'm trying to have to get up and put everything away get clean. I'm not turning it on from the camera. I'll just have to see how I feel all the time. Whether you agree with it or not, I can't be positive 24 seven. I don't know, I'm just freezing cold again. It took 20 minutes to put a freaking z packs tent in its bag because the bag is way too freaking small. For the tent. I mean, and what kills me is I had two people who own the same tent say, you just need to buy their large bag because that's the size they send you isn't big enough. Seriously, no, Z Packs needs to make the bag to be big enough. I mean, I shouldn't have to struggle for 20 minutes to put a tent in the back. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just not in a good mood this morning. And this is just how it is, I guess. You have good days and bad days. I'm having a bad day. Maybe it'll get good. But I'm just tired of being cold. And I'm tired of just crap weather. I just want a nice day. And I feel like I've had like one half nice day. And oh, maybe I'm asking too much. I mean, I knew coming out here was going to be hard. I knew it. But you could think you know it until you actually live it. And then when you live it, you're like, whoa. Yeah. And my hand's freezing. So I can't hold the, I can't do, hold the phone right now. And this, these gloves are supposed to be the tech. They don't work with the crap. Okay, before my hand freezes off, I'll talk to y'all a little bit. Maybe I'll be in a better mood. Anyway. Thanks for listening to me and not complaining too much on your comments, even though a lot of people do. Oh, well. So that it's called Horfrost? I don't know. It's got another name. Rhyme? Rhyme? Rhyme Frost? I don't know. It's fun to go in the snow. So I thought... The sun's coming out. <laughs> Maybe. I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to get my hopes up. <sighs> it's funny when I see these brown trees. It always makes me think of fall. I feel like 
Is it full? Well, I guess the good news is I think I only have like two clients today, like two, like anything significant. So I guess that's good. And I think I may have a view today at Wadi of all since this guy's clear, it looks like. Oh, maybe there's some good stuff. I'm just, I don't know. It like frustrated me so bad how long I had to spend to put my tent in my bag. And then it's so cold. I mean, it's just it was so cold. See, this is how cold it was. <laughs> the water could even make it to the ground. <laughs> it's so cold. Man, that sun feels good though. Not warm enough to take any of my layers off, but. Yeah, I'm much more of a warm weather girl. I can tolerate heat. If I'm doing things right, I can tolerate heat better than I can the cold. Which is funny, because I mean, obviously you can put more layers on to warm up, I guess, but I mean, obviously I only have so many layers. I'm carrying. I don't know. Maybe I'll be, maybe some of y'all will be right. Maybe I'll complain then, but I mean, I've hiked and backpacked, I mean, I've backpacked for years in all kinds of weather. But there's a big difference between going out for an overnight or even a couple of days and going out every day, every day, every day. <laughs> Huge difference. <laughs> Which I didn't realize until I started doing this. Just how huge of a difference it really is. How differently you feel about things. Like, you know, when I would go out for overnight. I'd want to make a fire and, you know, sit by the fire. I would say the majority of through hikers could care less about making a fire. All they want to do is get their stuff set up, eat their dinner, and then get in their warm bed. Warm sleeping bag. That's what they want to do. Um, you know, we're not all, you know, I don't know. At least at this point. Maybe when it warms up, you know, but then it's like, what's the point? Of, the campfire just becomes a social thing, not really a uh, trying to warm up thing. Because if you have the right sleeping bag, you don't need a fire to warm you up. Because your sleeping bag will warm you up. Okay, I'm rambling, I guess, this morning. Trying to show you the trail a little bit. Look what I just saw. Look, it's a, it's a little house. The troll. Oh, <laughs> that's the kind of trolls I like right there. It's cute. And in case anyone is wondering what that little troll thing is. It was near the Waya Bald Trailhead on the trail. If you want to see it, don't mess with it. It was cute. And I know it's not good to like put stuff on the trail or anything, but that was kind of cute. I like seeing it. it. Made me kind of smile. Not kind of. It actually did make me smile. Which I could use today. Well, it warmed up enough for me to take my little hoods off. So, maybe hold it now, hope for a good day. Look where I made it to. Looks like a wire bald. Trailhead. Yep, there's. I think that's the tower. Okay, I'm gonna go to it because it's super sunny. Yes. Let's climb to the tower. Okay, before I go up there, because I think that's the way you go, I think that's the way to the AT. That way. Pretty sure. Because there's a sign here on the trash cans. Which means somebody coming this way would go that way. So, I'm going to go. They got a restroom. I, got, I need to go to the bathroom. So, 
We're going to go do that first. And then I'm going to go to the tower. Okay. Yeah, it's blushful restrooms. They might not be flushables. So they might just be porta potties, but I don't care. I'll take either. And look, there's a trash can. Oh yeah! Wow, look at the view from the bathroom. Holy smoke! It's awesome. So I took a few layers off. I took my rain pants off, and I took my rain jacket off and the gloves. Although I could probably still use the gloves. <laughs> um so sunny pretty I don't know I am getting ahead of myself here I might get cold it's a little chilly still man that sun is so awesome I could stay up here all day all right headed to the tower man this is so cool looking Holy smoke. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. This shows you all the peaks. Look at this. Wow. Thank goodness I finally got a view of something. Oh man, yay. I wonder if that's Franklin. I don't know. I think it is. If I could look on the sign before they told me. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And of course people vandalize it because people suck. Let's go up the steps. Whoa. I need a better view. I even see a thing here that says oh carb here yeah instead of inside the building hello all right it looks like we go this way here Get down the AT all right here we go I am so behind schedule today. <laughs> um, I have to do, I think today was a 14 mile day and of course I got a late start uh, because of it takes so long with my tent and everything this morning and then, of course it was so cold. It just makes it hard to do anything. And yeah, so good. <laughs> uh, so I still have 11 and a half miles left today and it's like 10 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to bust out some miles. So I don't know how I may not get a whole lot more filming done. I mean, of the trails I'll try to capture at least a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of bust out some miles here. And yeah, so I'm hiked, started at the wine, what was it called? Wine Spring campsite and then going to Wesser Bald Shelter campsite. So, all right, we'll start hiking again. It's time to start to feel chilly again. Dang it. Oh well, maybe if I bust out the miles, I'll be warm. They have all these yellow places and I don't see any white. I don't know, it was white yellow earlier and now it's just yellow. But there's no other trail. So it's a white place back there. Seriously, do you not understand through hikers? You have to have white blazes. You can't just have your stinking yellow. Okay, I see a white blaze down here. Ugh, I 
hate it when they do that. Like, literally, you panic because you're like, I don't want to be on the wrong trail. So, I want to have a bunch of miles I have to get done today. Okay, okay, good. Our trail has been rough. Look at this crap. I don't think this is from last night. I think this crap's been here. Oh, well. Oh. It is definitely not helping my trying to get miles in today. I can't get going anywhere between the roots and rocks and down trees and brush. I swear to God, I feel like I'm not even on the trail. Oh my God. Mm, of all days to go off trail, of all freaking days when I have a ton of miles to do and I'm already behind, I should have known I was on the trail. I haven't seen a blaze in a while. All these stupid down trees. It's just stressful because I knew I needed to do bigger. It was a bigger mile day today. I got up. Well, I didn't really get up late. Maybe a little later than I probably should have. But just like I said, I had it, I, camp took forever. So I've decided... It's such a beautiful day. And I haven't got many, many, very many of these. It's even warmed up a little. I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm not gonna worry about my mileage. I get to camp at dark. I get to camp at dark. I'm gonna get, I don't know how many of these nice days I'm gonna get for a while. So I'm gonna enjoy it. And stop worrying about the mileage. Because I think it's why I went off trail. So I was trying to hike too fast. I wasn't paying attention. So the birds are chirping. I've got baby Yoda out. It's a good day. I'm not going to worry about mileage. Yep, and for those of you who've been asking, baby Yoda's doing just fine. He, he stays put away when it's kind of bad out because I don't want to lose him. But he comes out when it's nice. And he enjoys himself. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I love that sun so much. Well, I was head down the trail and ran to these two guys. Uh, so they follow me. Where are you following me on Instagram or? On Facebook. Uh, okay, Facebook. Okay, cool. Uh, on YouTube. On YouTube. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, and they're section hiking. So, what's your guys' names? I'm Jesse, uh, Sweet Feet. I'm Mark, uh, Bit It. And how did you get those names? Uh, I tried to be cheap and bought um, girls' darn tough socks. And I thought they were just kind of reddish, but they had flowers and were pink. That's so awesome. I picked up kind of a. Some started off as, as flower socks and sweet feet, just kind of flower socks is too easy. It's a better story. Sweet feet sounds better. Yeah. Sweet, sweet feet rolls, good. Rolls off the tongue. And how about your name? Your uh, turn. Mine is bit it for is B T D T, and they gave me that one because I've I, I've I've done a lot of stuff in my life. I was in the Coast Guard. I've it's been worked, a lot of places. Gotten to see a lot of a lot cool of things, stuff and, a lot of stuff, a lot of things. So uh, anytime we get excited about this new hike, he's like, "Oh yeah, I hiked this before." Yeah. <laughs> and then you got pictures to prove it, so it's annoying. <laughs> That's awesome. So been there, done that, huh? Yeah. So it wasn't meant in a mean way, like, right? Oh, right. Like yeah. he really has done a lot. Of but stuff. I do, I do, I, I have a, I have a tendency to to talk a lot about what I do. So I, I it fit, you know. And I was like, because I had a, I had a trail name at first that. I had picked out because everybody calls me Captain Torso because I have a lot longer torso than I do legs, really short legs. And uh, Captain Torso sounds hilarious, but but it, it stuck. Laughing. Yeah, that I, I'd rather go with something somebody gave me. Well, it's nice to meet you guys. You too. You too. Good luck on the trail. Yeah, good you luck. too. <laughs> When you come to areas like this, you really have to pay attention. I mean, 
could almost be really easy to get the wrong trail. You look for that lot, white place, and I found it. And I probably wouldn't have picked this trail if I was picking trails. Well, I just took a short break here at Burning Gap parking area. And I'm gonna start climbing here. We got two climbs in seven miles. Whew. Ooh, this trail is, this part is steep. Just keeps going too. Well, there is a shelter. I don't even know which one it is. Oh, there it is. I have to look to see which one it is. It's a view at the top of that climb. It was a rough climb, though. A little bit of trail magic. Oh my God, is there anything left? Oh honey, yeah, honey buns are gone. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna do Coke, but I am gonna sugar. Mm. I said I wasn't gonna drink Cokes, but oh, I need the sugar. So we're only like 2.2 .2 from the shelter, but we're thinking about just staying up at the ball. There's a few tent sites. We're thinking about it. And that's 1.4 miles because it's like up, straight up. Well, I think it's straight up. My feet are killing me. I took my shoes off for a second. My socks so they could breathe. Man, that was a rough. That was rough today. Rougher than it looks on the map. It's not as good as Diet Coke. <laughs> but it's got sugar. And my body could use the sugar right now. Took my shoes off. Here's the view. There's the road. Do, do, do. Yeah, he said it was not bad. So yeah, so far it's not bad. If it's a gentle climb, gentle climbs now, at least for me. Are practically like getting flat. I mean, if it's a gentle climb, it's not bad at all. Like, it's just when it's like that really steep climb. But so so far, it's a gentle climb. So let's hope it stays that way. I know, little guy gets out of his pouch. I got my sunglasses out. <laughs> the first time I've gotten to put on sunglasses. Like, and actually, because I needed them. Someone card a T and a log. That's cool. All right. Still gently climbing. Kind of think maybe we're going there. I don't know. All right. Made it to the top. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, there's the tower over there. Man, all right, here's our tower. Let's go to the top and see what we got up there. What are you guys doing? Oh, there. 
I had, a, I had an ACL wow. surgery, so this is one of the few hikes I can do. Look at uh, the like view. Oh yeah, there we are. There's my tent site for the night, and the sunrise comes up right there. This is exciting. <laughs> Baby Yoda's gonna enjoy some dinner. We're having stuffing with brown gravy and cranberries, so we like. Oh, and then chicken. I got that in here somewhere. And then yeah. chicken. Yeah, so it's like Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what my Thanksgiving meal looks like. Oh yeah. Mmm. Look at the sun. Sun setting. Pretty.